In this video, we'll look at how to complete the square. What complete the square does is change a standard form equation into a vertex form equation. Let's begin. I have an equation here, y equals 2x squared minus 20x plus 5. All right, step one. Step one is to pull this coefficient in front of the x squared, that is this leading two, out. We're going to factor it out, but note to self, we're only going to factor it out from the first two terms, not the constant. So this 2 comes out, and now we'll divide each of these by 2. What's 2x squared divided by 2? Just x squared. You always pull out what's ever in front of the x squared here, leaving just x squared. And now what's negative 20 divided by 2? Negative 10x. Close the brackets. We don't touch this 5 yet. That's step 1. All right, step 2. I make a little box on the side. In it, I write down three things, XTC, Div2, and Square, or Squa for short. I'm going to show you how to use this. First of all, I identify the XTC, the X terms coefficient. I also like it because it's funny, XTC. But it's the X terms coefficient that I want. The X is here, its coefficient is negative 10. So I write it here, X term coefficient of negative 10. Then I divide it by 2. I get negative 5. Finally, I square it. Not square root it, square it. Lots of people make that mistake. What's negative 5 squared? Positive 25. 5 times 5 is 25. But so is negative 5 times negative 5. The negatives cancel. You get 25. All of that is so I can write this line here. I'm going to add on the square and subtract it. Here's why. You can't change an equation. You can't just throw in numbers into equation, but what you can do is add something in, like 25, the square, that's always what I add in, as long as you also subtract it. I haven't changed anything, it's balanced. I just added a 25 and subtracted a 25. It's still the same equation. That's my second step. All of that was my second step. Okay, third step. The third step is, if you've done this x term coefficient, the xdc, divided it by 2 and squared it, these first three terms will make a perfect square. And that perfect square is going to be made up of whatever this div 2 is. That is, these three things are equal to x minus 5 squared. Now, here's where, when I teach this in class, a lot of students say, whoa, where did these things go? So let me show you, where did this x minus 5 squared come from. It came from this strategy, this XTC, negative 10, divide by 2 and square it. When you do that, these three things will equal this. But I bet you don't believe me, so I'll show you. Look at what happens when you do X minus 5 squared. That's the same as X minus 5 times X minus 5. You should watch the video here on how to FOIL or how to expand, but I'll show you really quick. Watch the video if you're not sure. It's first times first, X times X, that's X squared then it's outside times outside, that's minus 5, then it's inside times inside, another minus 5x, and lastly minus 5, the L is minus 5 times minus 5 plus 25. Look, it's x squared minus 10x plus 25. Do you see how this is this? That is x squared minus 10x plus 25 is x minus 5 squared. You just have to do this box strategy, take the x term coefficient, Divide it by 2 and square it, and whatever number you add on will make it so these first three terms make a perfect square. And what's the perfect square? x minus the div 2 thing. Sorry, sorry, x plus the div 2 thing. In this case, it's minus 5. If this had been plus 2, it would be x plus 2. It's minus 5, so it's x minus 5 squared. Okay, hopefully you got that part. The problem is that only dealt with these first three things. This last minus 25 is still hanging around. So I gotta write it down. But you'll notice it's no longer in these brackets. It's been pulled out. These first three things make this perfect square. But this minus 25 isn't a part of it. So I gotta pull it out of the brackets. When I do, it has to get times by the two that it would be, because it's in this brackets, it should be times by two. So times it by two. Then keep that plus five around. Last step, simplify you have two perfect x minus 5 squares. 
But now we just have to simplify. What's minus 25 times 2? That's like 2 quarters. That's minus 50. What's minus 50 plus 5? Minus 45. And we have completed this square. We took this standard form equation and made it into vertex form. A quick recap. The first thing we did is factor out the 2 from the first two terms. Then we identified the x terms coefficient, divided it by 2, and squared it leaving a perfect square that we then knew was x minus 5 squared. It's whatever the div 2 is. We pulled this minus 25 out and times it by this leading coefficient of 2. And we kept that plus 5 around. And in our last step, just simplified. That's how to complete the square.